Welcome back everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a super special opening today. We are going to be having a pack battle with Jenna M and we are going to be opening up this huge Ho-Oh Break. Uh, well, I shouldn't say just Ho-Oh Break. It's actually the Break Evolution box and it's got everything from a jumbo Ho-Oh card and you know how I love jumbo cards to, uh, let's see, Ho-Oh Break, Wobbuffet Break, and a promo Ho-Oh and Lugia. Back looks like that, front looks like that, and we are going to be using the same point system for this battle as we do for MLTB. So uh, full arts are uh, five EXs, or no, sorry, secret rares are five EXs and full arts, I'm just going all over the place. Uh, why don't we start at the bottom? Uh, the hollows, uh, well, no, that's not even right either. Rare reverses are worth one, hollows are two, EXs and breaks are three, full arts are four, and secret rares are five. Um, we had some confusion in the last pack battle where someone thought they uh, the points would stack. So if like you pulled a full art EX, um, you got the four points for it being a full art and the three for it being an EX. It doesn't quite work out that way. Um, we've got plenty of packs here. Yeah, we've got a uh, Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, Breakpoint, and Two Fates Collide. So we'll set those right there. Uh, code card. Ooh, the Jumbo card. It's pretty nice. And uh, we'll show that off a little better when we go to the close-up view. And let's see if we can... Pull out the ho -oh. The ho -oh break. The Wobbuffet break. And the Lugia Hollow. So why don't we play around with the camera and we'll get a little bit closer to the cards and see what we pull. Okay, and now we are ready to open up everything. So uh, let's take a closer look at these promo cards. Now the promos are not worth any points. Uh, it wouldn't really make sense to include them as uh, in any point values because we would be tied. So it looks like we have a mint condition ho-oh. That's a pretty nice Wobbuffet. Uh, looks a little pushed in, but not quite dinged. So I think we're good on the Wobbuffet as well. There's a beautiful Ho-Oh promo. And that one looks mint too. There's just a really cool looking card. And the Lugia promo. So I think we hit four for four. We have four mint cards to add to the collection. So we're already doing fantastic on the box. Now we have not had much luck in the MLPB. So maybe we'll change that luck today and get some awesome pulls. Um, let's see what we want to start off with. How about the Ancient Origins pack? Move these to the side. I think I've got the camera set up uh, decent. Hopefully, you can see everything. Two, three, one, two. Okay, we'll let the camera focus. And I think we're ready. Okay, so good luck to Jenna M. Uh, hope for a fantastic battle and that we both pull some really cool cards. We're starting off with a Gumi, a Wooper, Magikarp, Inke, ooh, Unknown. Sorry, we're having a, it's trying to focus in on the background, but I think we finally have it on the foreground. So, very useful card. I'll hang on to that. Faded Town, Sligoo. Nice level ball. Our reverse is a combi, so no points there. And rare is a Registeel, so we do have a really nice Pokemon, but no, nothing worth any points in that one. 
Uh, let's go for break point next. Oh, got code card. Let's flip the other way. Okay. A slowpoke, glamiow, spritzy, shinx, honage. Oh, nice. Bursting balloon. Very useful trainer. Luxio, arcanine. Our drowsy is a the reverse. And we are on the board with a Suicune Hollow. So awesome. That is two points. So a nice start. And we still have three packs left. Honestly, though, I'm kind of excited about that uh, bursting balloon pull. I have not been keeping up uh, very well with the TCG, but... I believe that one's still a very sought after card. Okay, we have a Pancham, Inke. Sorry, we're having some focus issues again. Swinub, Starly, Fennekin. Oh, nice. Pulled a Judge and a Town Map. Buddy Buddy Rescue. Oh, it's the. Uh, for Froki, but not the uh, really playable one. And Marowag, while it is a non-hollow rare, so no points in that one. Um, maybe this isn't the Marowag I'm thinking of. No, this isn't the one. I think the one I'm thinking of is the uh, ability Marowag. Does something against Night March. I think it breaks out of the trainer lock or something like that if it were being used against it. So now we are into the Fates Collide uh, packs. Yep, we are. So unfortunately, only the Suicune Hollow pull so far. Uh, but we still have the Fates Collide pack, so we might be able to pull something in here. A Snubble, Seal, Bronzor, Cottony, Burmy, Omanite. Oh, nice Scorched Earth Stadium. Old Amber Aerodactyl. Wormadam, which is our reverse, is only an uncommon, so no points there. And we hit a nice one. Mega Audino EX for three more points. And this is the Audino that had such a spectacular showing at Worlds this year. A uh, player from Japan, I believe, just kind of came out of nowhere with this Audino deck. Um, destroy the Masters Division and, uh, yeah... Uh, I'm not even quite, I don't remember what it does. Um, Symphony for 110, if you played a supporter, which you probably did, tag does 50 more to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So a nice little snipe. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sleeve this up, actually, because this is probably one that I will hang on to. Um, I didn't, I'm not necessarily preparing to make a deck out of it, but that is definitely useful, and I think that's one I'm probably going to want to hang around for a little while. So, uh, three points, so we are up to five points total. Um, we still have one pack left, though, so I don't know. I think Gen M has a good chance in this battle. But it all depends on what we get out of this last pack. Okay. All right, so we have a Vullaby, Coughing, Mincino, Diglett, Riolu, Dome Fossil Kabuto, Altaria Spear Link, Pokemon Fan Club, the <laughs> another Wormadam, a different one though, which is also an uncommon reverse, and a Reuniclus. So no points in that pack. So the only points that we have are from the Mega Audino, which is so, such a cool card, um, and the Suicune Hollow. Uh, that and while it's not worth any points, I am still very excited over some of our trainer pools, especially that bursting balloon. So those um, and maybe the level ball too. Um, I always feel like I'm running low on level balls um, to spare. So that's a pretty nice trade or not trade. What am I saying? Uh, pull as well. But the best part was probably getting all four promo cards in mint condition. So super excited about that. And then, of course, the jumbo card, being able to add that to my jumbo binder. 
Um, I am very happy. I'm so stoked that Jenna M asked uh, for this pack battle. I hope they pulled awesome points as uh, as well and will enjoy their cards very much. Their uh, channel link will be in the description below, so you can check out their side of the battle. Uh, there should also be an iCard that uh, will link to their video as well. So I hope everyone checks out their channel, subscribes. They have some fantastic comments, some great openings. So I really hope that everyone will check them out. And uh, hopefully, if you're coming from their channel, uh, you like what you see too and uh, feel free to comment below on who won, what cards you liked that were pulled, and um, yeah, just your thoughts. So I am very excited. Uh, this is a great pack battle, and I hope everyone will stay tuned. We've got an MLPB battle coming up tomorrow, and while we haven't done very well so far, maybe we can turn it around tomorrow.